What is good, everybody? Saber Wolf 94. You doing cool? Cool? Uh, I'm gonna show another game here today. Uh, it's gonna be a Ray Eels expanded. Nice, nice. Uh, it won't be against. Uh, well, it, it's a shit matchup. Uh, it's gonna be against Night March, and against a deck like this, you really it's it's hard to win because. Uh, you know, Ray Eels is all about getting one-hit knockouts on whatever the hell big Pokemon. But when they're using small guys like this, uh, you know, it takes longer for you to set up than them. And, yeah, it's it's just not a good matchup. But I did try. I tried. It's not impossible, but you kind of have to play differently, which I will, but sometimes it's not enough. So for starters, we're not going to want to attack with Rayquaza's at all. Uh, Rayquaza EX, we want to use him maybe for the last kill, or maybe when we know that he's not going to die in one hit. But, yeah, going to put the Lightning Energy on Raikou. We've got a little eel here, and I'm going to end. And we have to set up fast, otherwise, you know, not good. And I get a bunch of stuff I don't want to see, like we get the Rayquaza. I suppose I can't bench it, but uh, this deck, it just, it goes through all its shit, and then it makes sure to have, like, Life Center and Via Seekers to pick off whatever the hell it wants. And, uh, yeah, EX Pokemon are sitting ducks against this deck when this happens. So, not that great. Uh, I don't really get a lot of early setup going. We do have an eel, but it would have been better if I had a couple. And I have to pass. And my opponent is going to play the fucking Mew, of course. Put the DC on. Joltik is on the bench. And going to Ultra Ball, of course, for Shaman. And start the draw shit going. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon deck, Night March. That's what I like to call it. You know, start playing the Battle Compressors and all that shit. But, yeah. It's gonna Ultra Ball once again. I imagine it's gonna grab another Shaman. Or if he doesn't, it means he already has another one in hand. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, surprise. It's gonna grab another Shaman. Go through the deck fast, uh, ditch those stuff you want to ditch, and then the little guys do 180 damage and more easily. Trainer's mail. What are you going to grab? Floatstone. Okay. And the damn thing is, we, we have fire energy too in hand, so... It's like, the deck is telling me to use Rayquaza, but I'm like, I can't use you. Uh, uh, fortunately, he ends, and that's actually a good thing for me. Hopefully, we get something better. And I guess this is more workable. So, new comes out, got a Night March. Doesn't do a lot, 30 damage, so... He's actually not set up, surprise, surprise. Uh, not fast enough, but normally uh, when, you know, I al always assume that, okay, I'm going to die in one hit uh, when they, those good things attack. But anyway, we're going to Ultra Ball here, get rid of the other Aquaza. I'm not going to need him. The same goes with Mime. Pretty sure I ditched Mime, right? And yeah, things like Zapdos. We need, because, you know, it can attack um, and give one prize. We're going to Juniper here. I get a bunch of good shit. That's very good. Uh, we're going to rush in. And I'm definitely going to get rid of my opponent's stadium. That's another way to kind of slow them down. You wait for them to play their stadium, and then you get rid of it with your own. They kind of need a fucking uh, Dimension Valley to work. 
So maybe you can do that. Okay. So if I had a fucking float stone, I could have just attacked. Damn it. But it seems we don't. So I'm definitely going to have to just leave Keldu there. And that really sucks, damn it. But I didn't really want to, you know, risk Raikou dying and then lose the energy and lose uh, somebody that could actually be trouble for them, maybe. Uh, if I put the Fury Belt on, uh, this guy's kind of like an EX at that point, but he's not going to give two prizes. But it's just so easy. They can just knock anything out in one hit anyway. So we're going to grab the other electric with level ball. And I really just, like, damn. Uh, I hope Sky Arrow Bridge at least stays for one turn so we can retreat Keldeo next turn if he survives. I hope he survives. But, yeah, my opponent is going to Ultra Ball once again. Probably going to grab another. Okay, Jirachi, not Shaman. So I suppose you don't have Tapu Lele, okay. Uh, Jirachi still does the job. And as you guys saw, he also put in the discard pile the um, Hex Maniac. And that's also something that can fuck us up. Uh, they do this, especially against me. If I can't use abilities for one turn, then it's like, wow. it's You can't stop that. Like, uh, with Garbodor, maybe you can use the Startly Megaphone or something. But if they do that and slow me down, like even if I have the lead, they can just uh, get the lead right back. So it seems I'm getting a little bit of luck here. Sky Arrow Bridge managed to stay, and Keldeo did not die. We're going to Ultra Ball, basically just to thin the deck, really. I decided to ditch the Lightning, it seems. Uh... We're going to grab Raikou or Tabu Lele, I wonder. Yeah, I'm probably yeah, going to grab Tabu Lele because next turn when in all likelihood uh, Raikou is going to die eventually, they will start to get going. And he softened up too. I can play Tabu Lele down and grab a supporter because we don't have anything, damn it. And without the mime, it actually kind of sucks using Zapdos, but I don't really have a lot of choice in the matter. Like I've said, this isn't a very great matchup. But we are going to be able to get the first knockout and kind of have a lead. Raikou. I wish I could get rid of a Joltik or something, but we kind of have to get rid of the new. No Lysander. Uh, one thing that helps against a deck like this is, of course, Enhance Hammers. But I don't really run them in this sort of deck. Uh, you really go want to go with consistency as much as you can. Uh, Texts like that aren't really that necessary. Uh, I, I mean, against a deck like this, Enhance Hammer would have helped. But in other decks like with um, Landorus EX, where they use Strong Energy and other decks where they have big ex Pokemon, they use DC and stuff. It doesn't really matter. You're going to knock them out in one hit. That's your aim. Uh, in my Legacy version, because there's like uh, more, have more limited options, there is room for Enhanced Hammer. I do run it in that, pretty sure. But here, not really. So we grabbed Computer Search from our prizes too, which is a good thing, but... I don't really have a big ass hand, so yeah. So it seems like Keldeo is dead now. Uh, my opponent decided to Lysander well, Assumption and also played the life too. That is very annoying. So immediately I kind of have to, okay, no matter what, I'm going to computer search and get like a uh, field bore or fucking startly megaphone and 
it seems both of them are prized, damn it. I was... Yeah, it, it sucked so bad because... Well, I can get Lysandra, so okay, that was uh, another thing, but... Let me tell you, when they do this, it's another thing sort of okay. If you just waste your turn attacking and not getting a prize, that's like another almost uh, definite thing that you're going to lose. So I grab Lysander here, and uh, well, man, we not got Joltik, but we don't, we can't get a prize. We can't, uh, I mean, we did get a prize, but I was hoping I get like the startling megaphone or something from the prizes. Yeah, it really sucks. Uh, so I'm doing all that I can so I can make, get a knockout every turn and grab a prize every turn. Uh, we, we have to like outpace this deck, otherwise we're toast. I'm gonna use Battle Compressor too, so pretty much he's gonna be able to knock out anything he wants now. And I also use one of the VS Seekers too, or ditched one of them. So that sucks very much, very very much. He's gonna end. That kind of helps because I didn't have. Well, no hand. Hopefully we get a VS Seeker or some shit, but we don't. Uh, chances, what are the chances? I mean, now we have one. If that's even in the deck, it could be Bryce still, but... Yeah, things are not looking very good. He also grabs a Dimension Valley, and... Yeah, it, it, the sign is on the wall, basically. Even, even if I try my hardest... Uh, it's very difficult to win against a deck like this once it starts going. If the opponent knows what he's doing, or they knows what, what they're doing, they could be a chick. Uh, it's really tough to lose. But, yeah. I wish I had a VS Seeker or something. Uh, we don't want to, like, knock this thing out and not get a prize. It's quite annoying. Life 2 is actually quite risky too, because I don't know, if, if we get rid of it, then it's like they had no ace spec. But in the cases where my opponent does want to run it and I can't get rid of it, it is very annoying. So we're going to use Professor's Letter. And I suppose I'm going to use Super Rot too. Get the Keldeo, no doubt, and Raikou, and I believe the Mayim, I'm going to get that too. No, Tapulele, uh, alright, I, I suppose. Alright. And we don't really get shit. So I guess the only, if you want to focus on the positive, I suppose, is that once Sanaka knew, he only has that little uh, pump kaboo there. And, you know, maybe we can capitalize on that. Uh, with Raikui X, I can also just one of the good things, I guess, against this deck that I can do is, with Raikou, uh, once I, I'm down to I only need two prizes, I could use Raikou EX and knock Jirachi, apparently, since he wants to run him. Uh, since he doesn't have Tabu Lele, if he had Tabu Lele, uh, this wouldn't be a thing, but, you know, sniping could be good. Uh, actually, it would have been great if I could snipe the pump kaboot this turn, but unfortunately, um, we probably won't be able to, unless, let's see, yeah, the electric is prized too, ah, fucking hell, so yeah, I was really unlucky, even though I, I, I tried everything I could, if maybe the deck was more like, uh, with me, I guess, in this game, if, 
you know, uh, my item removal, my tool removal wasn't prized, like if Field Blow was in the deck or tool, if Sergeant Megaphone, or maybe I managed to draw a VS Seeker when I really wanted to use a Lysander again. And if maybe we had the third electric and we could have used Raikou this turn, not got the Pumpkaboo, that could also have been a thing. And Oricorio, that's another thing that can be trouble. Damn it. Uh, yeah, this deck has a million ways to fuck you up, and you can't do anything about it, really. It's crazy, really, this uh, fucking ass small deck. All right. So it's going to recycle new and the DCE. Exactly what he needs to do. Uh, no matter what, I'm definitely going to snipe the Pumpkaboo next turn. But it's fucking tough. Like, uh, he only needs two prizes left. So if I promote Raikou and something goes wrong, I'm toast. But I'm doing my best. So we're definitely going to attack with Raikou. Uh, I'm gonna put the. I'm checking his discard pile, and yeah, it, no matter what, he's dead. I don't think the Fighting Fury belt can help. Thinking, thinking. We're gonna put the Fire Energy on. He's gonna attack, no doubt. And. Uh, what, what am I going to do? Am I going to promote Keldeo? Or am I going to play Keldeo or Quaza? We are going to put the Fighting Fear build anyway, because why not? And I don't have a lot of cards in my deck, too. Right, we're going to play Keldeo. I kind of have to. And let's see what happens with Colrus. I get the VS Seeker. This is well, late, but better late than never. So maybe at least next turn I can do this. And yeah, we're going to Dynamotor. I really have no choice but to invest in Rayquaza at this point. And really, if my opponent gets a one-hit knockout, uh, uh, yeah, I'm dead anyway. Like, it doesn't matter at this point. So... We're going to put the Lightning Energies on, and I am going to snipe the Pumpkaboo. So hopefully he can attack next turn somehow, but it's just so easy. Uh, probably going to recycle him somehow. Uh, that's what this deck does, of course. A lot of the weaknesses of this deck, with a lot of the newer cards like uh, Puzzle of Time and shit, you know, they're not existent. And he has VS Seeker, so. Yeah, it seems he's gonna grab Professor Sycamore. I thought he was gonna grab uh, either Hex Maniac or Lysander. But, gonna Sycamore. And, uh, what exactly are you going to do? And,. Rescue Stretcher, yeah. Uh, he knew what he was doing. Gonna grab the Joltik, so now he can attack. If he didn't finish me off, he was gonna lose, but of course he knew that thing was there. So, good game. I tried my best. I hope you guys enjoyed. hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this with your friends. Maybe take some notes how to play against Night March when using red eels and shit. Uh, it's not an easy matchup, but... It's not impossible. If I had a little more luck, because uh, I wasn't very lucky, but uh, it would have been good. But hope you guys enjoyed. What's up?